Not even the series origin story gives us the elements of Harmony origin story. Because real eggheads use picture books. The theme that made us all cringe at one point. Minuet and Twinkleshine's presence mysteriously disappear from their backs. Spike's very first appearance in the show involves Twilight abusing him. A fictional character once again looks everywhere except for right in front of themselves for the person which they're so loudly shouting the name of. I really can't imagine what the background artist intended this to be. Even Spike has better handwriting than myself. The more you think about it, the more lens flares don't actually make any sense in a cartoon. Something tells me these sky chariots don't exactly have a 5 star rating for safety. There is absolutely nothing keeping the passengers safe in the event that the driver accelerate too fast. Also, these mountains are either really tiny, or they are moving extremely fast. Green apple in, red apple out. Maine remains messy simply because it's relevant to the plot. The blue jay is a territorial bird that is known to attack and kill smaller birds. Spike claims to have hatched from a purple and green egg, however, any diligent burning will know that his egg contained absolutely no green later in the series. Minuet, Lemon Hearts, Amethyst Star, Lyra, and Twinkleshine all followed Twilight from Canterlot and brought their twin sisters. How nice. Twilight Sparkle is colorblind. She also seems to drink quite a bit before actually tasting the hot sauce. This retarded pony offends me greatly. Pinkie Pie starting in the tail on the pony! That has the potential to become very dangerous in a room full of ponies. Judging by the time of night, style of music, and Spike's lampshade hat, this party sounds like it could have been the highlight of the season if we actually had a chance to see it. This prophecy still doesn't make sense. Time to watch the sunrise! So apparently the sunrise is at 4am in Equestria? No one thought to keep an eye on the ruler of the land? Not even to give her a cue to make an appearance? Maybe she's just taking care of her royal duties in the little filly's room. These three haven't met yet. Cliffhanger. Wait, did these three previously appear on screen before just so these credits would make sense in this episode?